What's wrong with the blacks? What's wrong with the blacks? Family, man. Our households ain't right. Yeah. The households ain't right, man. But we doing what they like. They some of them doing the best they can based on the situation that they was put in in life, you know. But it's 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 a bloodline thing, man. The where our households just ain't right, man. Yeah. They ain't right. It started in the home always. Always. It always started in the home, man. In our homes, they ain't right, man. Like, I feel like if they was a, if, if if the school system was able to attach like body cams to some of the kids when they go home, yeah, and see what they have to deal with, like, I think they'll be surprised. Yeah, they'll be shocked. They're like, they'll what? Be shocked. Duh. They'll be shocked. Man. Yeah, they'll be shocked. For real. Do you believe that mothers have love? A type? They got a type of love. And it, what it, type is that? Like the nurturing type. Caring for, raising, like that type of love. And and so do you believe they have real love? Not not they don't they don't have like the agape, like God type love. Right. It's like forgiving no matter what type love. Not that. Yeah, that's what destroys the children. Yeah. That anger, and they call it love. Yeah. 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 That's why the father need to be there to protect the children from that. Yeah. After the child become three year old, at least, they got to say bye to mama. Oh, yeah. And the father takes What about over. daughters? Same Even the boys daughters, and the too? Girls. Yeah. yeah. The boys and the girls, because the mothers create the girls in their image, too. That's why the girls do exactly what the mother do. Have done when they are adults, they act just like the mama. Yeah. It's the same evil spirit. Yeah. They yeah. screw up their children. I think, yeah, as far as like, because love is what, what you do, right? Love is not a feeling, it's who you are. It's like your nature. Mm -hmm. It's your, the nature of God that you return to. Oh, okay. And in that nature, there's nothing but love. Oh, okay. It pays so taking out. care of is just taking care of. Right. Oh, okay. It's like going out and fixing a, like when you're, when you're, Plow, you ever had to pl you plowing the mule and the plow broke down? Really, man? <laughs> plowing a <the> mule. <laughs> I ain't even rolled in a tractor before, man. <laughs> and then you plow the mule. You have to fish the plow? That's what a mother love it. It's just to fix it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nah. I but the father right take over and take it, the child, the rest of Boys and girls, the rest of the way with perfect love. Oh, okay. Including the mother. And she'll come along kicking and screaming. Mm -hmm. And then after about 50 years, you'll die. Mm -hmm. And just before you die, you see her plow start to plow again a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you seen it go that way? No. <laughs> I just think it will. <laughs> So what, what, what you remember about uh, growing up in the house with your parents? What you remember, far order-wise, and how I, your dad and your mom were? I remember that I never felt fear living with them. I always felt, without even thinking, I don't even thought about not feeling love, right? I just, it was just love without even being spoken. They never had to say to me, I love you, I love you. And, but I knew they did. And... I noticed that my parents, especially with my grandparents, my grandmother always respected my grandfather. Not once did she ever say anything bad about him. Not once did she ever display anger toward him. And, and he would tell her sometimes, tell Punchy before he go to school tomorrow, he better get up and go out there and feed, milk that cow and feed, him, feed the cow mm -hmm. and the horses. Mm -hmm. and, and she would say, your dad. Dad said, get up and go do this. I did it without a problem. She never felt upset about it. And it would be like 6 o'clock in the morning. And it would still be dewy wet outside. And then I had to come home and get ready to catch the school bus around 7, 7.30. Right. It was amazing. Yeah. And my grandfather never said that I could remember that he loved me, but I knew he did. Your he, dad was he an He gave alpha. me two horses. Have your grandfather ever given you two horses? Mm -mm. And he, he let me learn how to drive by, plow, by driving the tractor. He just said, get up there and drive the tractor. Oh, yeah? With the, so I could plow the field with the tractor. No problem. 
See, that's the good thing is about those times, man. Like, you know, other than, you know, all the advancements that we made in life technology-wise and all that, but but those times, man, they, they just seemed like they were so business-like. Like, people didn't... It was just all business. Like if you had a job, you you was part of the business. Yeah. As soon as you was able to walk, like yeah. you had a role, you you had as something to do. As soon as I popped out of my mama's womb, I had a con sack on my back. <laughs> For real, that's what it seemed like about those times, though, man. That's why it seemed like those guys had so much character. Yeah, back then, yeah. man. And then they said, you know what? When you're 18 years old, you leave it here. Right. I'm like, where well, I'm going? Down in Alabama on a plantation, right? Where yeah. am I going? Yeah. I don't know. I don't care, but you leave it here. They ain't never showed you where you can go uh -uh. or nothing. You just and when I turned 18, they taught me how to work, how to have a job. I left home at 18. I graduated in May, and in September, I was out of there. Yeah. I didn't know what life was going to bring, but I went to Indiana. I, Indiana, I worked for two weeks because I wanted to come to California, and they, nobody was going to pay my way to California. So I got a job at Endless Steel for two weeks. My first paycheck, I quit. Endless Steel job was way harder than working in the cotton field. So I came here at 18, I have a little back. Because they taught me to work, buy me my food, have a little money in my pocket. Because in those days, they would tell you, keep a little change in your pocket. Buy yourself some gas and stuff, right? And so I just lived that way, and life just happened. Yeah, that's deep, man. Especially growing up in a place where it was kind of normal to be taught to be kind of scared of white people. We weren't taught to be scared of white people. It seemed like it. <laughs> Why it seemed like it? You know, because you know, all we got to go by is is movies and <laughs> stuff like that. And they so you know, to you. you know, that's that's the way they portray those times. Like black people was 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 like afraid. You know, they, they didn't really... But that you know. is to deceive you to make you think racism is this thing. Oh. When I went to town where a whole lot of white people were, because my grandfather used to put us all on the back of the truck, take us to town once a week. We see the white folks, hey there, how y'all? Fine, how y'all doing? But then I also really found out too, though, that, you know, black people had slaves. Like, I ain't know yeah. that. Yeah. Like, so slavery was kind of a business thing, but... You know, it wasn't just the way... But I mean, a lot of them had slaves, too. Not just one or two. A lot of blacks? Yeah. Yeah, in Georgia, places like Georgia that. Georgia and Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, after I learned that, then I kind of had a different view of, of, of what slavery was during them Black times. people still like, own slaves. What do you mean? The, the, the black leadership are the slave owners of the blacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, tell them how yeah. to think, what to yeah. do, who to vote for, right, right, when to right. vote. To get mad at the white people, act like you want free money and everything. They tell the white black people what to do because they're slave to the slave owners who are the black. Yeah, I think that's what Kanye West was talking about too. And he's right about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true though. Did you know that the civil rights movement was other than abortion was the worst thing that ever happened to the blacks? Civil rights movement? Yeah. With Martin Luther King and all those guys? Was the worst? Yeah. What do you think is worse for the black, abortion or, or the civil rights movement? That's a good one. I think abortion, though. Is worse than the civil rights movement? Yeah. Why? Because, I mean, even through the civil rights movement, you still had, I mean, you, people still living. You still got a chance. It's still going to benefit some people in certain ways, and even though it's probably not going to benefit some people. But abortion, that's like, that's like wrong in so many ways. How's that? It's irresponsible for one. It's, it's giving it's giving the notion that it's okay to be ir irresponsible with birth, childbirth. Yeah. You know, creating other humans. You know, it's 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 a slap in the face to God because if 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 God didn't want it to be a life, He wouldn't have let it be. He wouldn't have created one. It's playing God. It's just wrong in so many ways. You're not giving that child a chance. You don't know what that child may grow to be impact they may have on life. Like, what if you would've got aborted? I know, we wouldn't have no bond. You feel me? So, like, as wrong as, or however, you may feel detrimental-wise that, you know, the civil rights movement was to blacks, but it's, it ain't worse than abortions to me. But I still say it is because the civil rights movement killed the soul 
of the blacks. And the abortion killed the baby itself, right? The whole thing. But, but it didn't kill the soul, the soul to all the blacks, though. And the soul, but the soul still live on in the, in the unborn baby because they never developed the body, so the soul is still alive. But the black souls have been killed. They're walking around, their eyes are open, but they're dead. Their souls are dead. And what does it profit a man to save the body and lose the soul? But you still got a chance, though. To do what? You still got a chance to, if you're still alive, you still got a chance to hear right, the but truth, most of them not gonna take to that hear chance. it and accept it. But most of them are not going to take that chance. Yeah. They think that they're alive when they're really dead. Yeah. yeah. And God said, what does it profit a man that you save your body and lose your soul? Right. Amazing, huh? Right, right. Yeah. One last thing, then I got to put you on the hot seat. All right. What's your impression of the great white hope? Trump. Yes, sir. At least you know who he is. Yeah, man, I rock with Trump, man. You know. You rock as, with him? Yeah, as unpopular as it may sound, man, I rock with Trump, man. Just because, for one... You know, I'm all, I'm all about being, you know, if you a male, you be you be a man. You stand on what you believe in, regardless yeah. of the consequences. And, you know, I respect him for that. Like, you know, I don't, I don't have issues with the fact that that he's a rich, wealthy white man. Like, you know, yeah. I, I don't, just because, you know, and, and I think that's probably why a lot of people feel like he is the way he is because he's rich. But it's vice versa. He is rich because of the way he is. Absolutely. You know, so yeah. I, don't, I, I don't feel like it's just some rich white man, racist white man, just running around throwing his weight around. Like I don't know. I got a lot of respect for him, man, because he 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 he, he be himself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He came in one way, and he was the way the same way he is now. He was that way before he was the president. Never changed. Some people didn't even know who Trump was before he became the president, right. too, though. That's a problem, too. Yeah. Like, I, I remember, you know, from his show and stuff, you know what I'm saying, where he, he showed, he shows you then how no nonsense he was on yeah. his show. You know, the, um, well, I forgot what the name of it, but the he'd be like, you fired. Yeah, the apprentice. the apprentice. Yeah. So I was already familiar with him before he became the president, but I respect any man that's willing to, you know, go against the wind and be it's himself. Supposed to. Yeah, you're right. supposed to go against the wind. What the? <laughs> yeah, so amazing. Yeah, yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I, I grew up. I, I had my dad in the house with me, so you know, I, I don't really have issues with men being men. Like that's right. You know, I, it, it's not offensive to me, even if I don't agree with you. Right. I ain't offended by it. Right on, man. Yeah. Amazing.